morning. It is currently 9.30. Um, Lila was up at about 5.30 a.m. and wanted to eat, so I got up then and I fed her. And I came back to bed, trying to go back to sleep a little bit. <sighs> I uh, tried to go back to sleep a little bit. Eric left for work at like close to 7. He started at 7 today. So I think he gets out at 5. Um, so right now I'm just about to get up, uh, brush my teeth, wash my face, get dressed, uh, brew a cup of coffee, and get the girls up and get them dressed and get them breakfast for the day. get up. You want your bottle? You want your baba? Yeah. See, there we go. Now we're holding it by ourselves like a big girl. And now I need to get Ari's breakfast ready. <laughs> Taking your picture? <laughs> I'm taking a video actually. I hope that. Look at your crazy hair. Say, I woke up like this. I woke up like this. <laughs> no, you can't hold it, silly girl. We're gonna get you dressed and get you some breakfast. Jacks with milk and bubble guppies on the tablet, your favorite morning routine. Lila is just about finished with her bottle now. Say, are you finished? Are you finished with your baba? Yeah. Okay, now it's Sissy's turn to get dressed. See, Sissy. Huh? Time to get dressed? How you doing, Arya? You like your breakfast? Bye -bye. <laughs> Come on, boys. Silence, nothing to say. Alrighty then, I'll let you be. Let's go get sissy dressed. <laughs> This is Lila's like playtime setup in the living room. We just kind of put like a bunch of her toys around her and she likes to just like roll around and do what she pleases for a little bit. So that's her playtime. Well, it appears Arya has taken feeding herself a little too far and got some milk all over her. So we're gonna have to change again now that you're done with breakfast, right? Sucked into bubble guppies. 
Okay, I see how it is. Okay, so we have outfit number two for the day. You want your juice? Can you say outfit two, Aria? Outfit two. Good job. Look what I put on for you. Bubble Gubbies on the big TV too. And of course, Sissy's headband is falling in her face. <laughs> there we go. See, all better. Why don't you play with Sissy and watch cartoons, okay? Okay, so now while the girls are playing in the living room, it's time to clean up the kitchen and do all the dishes, put away the clean dishes. Held in the echoes, secrets that we know. Doors that open for us in a moment. having drumsticks in the oven for dinner tonight. I have 10 of them. The reason why I'm making it so early is because there's a marinade and I want it to soak in the marinade for a few hours before I bake it. So the recipe calls for 10 drumsticks, which I have right here in a Ziploc bag, um, one lemon zested and juiced, which I have already done into this bowl, um, a quarter cup of olive oil, which I have already also added to this bowl, um, two teaspoons of garlic powder I have already added to the bowl but instead I like to use minced garlic because it comes out stronger in my opinion and we love garlic um, I need to now add two teaspoons of salt right here I have a half a teaspoon measure so I'll be putting four of these in to equal two teaspoons four teaspoons of salt, half a teaspoon of black pepper, um, one teaspoon of paprika, so that will be Oh, excuse me, pepper always makes me sneeze when I use it. So that'll be two half teaspoons to equal one full teaspoon of paprika. And then one teaspoon of oregano. I'm just going to use the little spoon to kind of stir this together. Okay. 
no, that's not stirring it good enough, so I'm gonna look for my whisk. Use that. Okay, I'm just mixing this marinade together. Smells good. See how it tastes on the chicken later. Okay. I swear, Lila's gonna be crawling any day now. She's down there on the floor. She was over in the dining room, rolled herself over to here. <laughs> now it says to pour the ingredients which now looks like this is like a darker color than I thought would come out because it has so much lemon in it, but I'm pretty sure it's the paprika that turned it such a reddish hue. Okay, poured it in the bag. It says to seal the bag and then massage the marinade over the drumstick. So I caught Aria going under the table, which is her um, classic place to hide to take a number two. So I asked her, I said, do you want to go on the potty? Do you want to go on the potty? She said, yes, this time. So I have her set up on her little girl potty with her tablet, a Pop-Tart and juice to hopefully get her to sit there for longer. Right, baby? Say, so are you a big girl? You a big girl sitting on your potty? Good job! Yay! Okay, so Arya did not have any success um, actually going on the potty, but she sat for about five minutes, which is the longest that she's ever sat on it, so that's progress. Right, baby? Good job! Yeah! So I'm about to get Sissy ready to go down for her afternoon nap. Um, it's about 20 minutes early, but they'll be going to bed at 5 or 6 tonight. So I want them to take their nap early enough so that they're tired enough later to go to bed. I'm on his lunch break. Daddy! Are you happy to see Daddy, Aria? Yeah, you love Daddy. Aww, you love your Daddy. Okay, we have Arya's lunch, which is six chicken nuggets cut in half and a handful of goldfish, one of her favorites. And she wants to eat her lunch sitting next to daddy today. So I will let her eat her lunch here. Here you go, baby. What do you say? You're welcome. Sissy's up from her nap. Let's go wake her up. Well, she's already up, but we have to say good morning to her. Sissy! Say good morning! Hi Sissy! Did you have a good nap? Yeah? Did you have a good nap? Aria, do you want to take a nap now? You want to take a short nap? But you need one, right Sissy? Say I bet you feel so much better after your nap. Okay, let's check your diaper. So Aria is going to go down and take her afternoon nap now. Mom. Yes. Yeah, you're going to take a nap. I'm going to put your pillow back in. Yeah. There you go. I'm here. I'm Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. I'll give you your Mickey Mouse, yes. There you go, baby. <laughs> Say so you have a good nap. Good nap. Good nap. I'll see you when you wake up. <laughs> okay, so today for lunch, Sissy is going to have oh. some apples. Oh. How was that, Sissy? Was that good? Were those apples good? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you ready for a baba? How 
How's that, baby? Is that good? Is that a good bottle? Yeah. Typically, I give her her bottle right after I feed her um, her jar of baby food because she's really hungry when she wakes up from her nap. So she'll have the jar of baby food and then her bottle. So we have Lila in the big girl tub for the first time ever today. Yay! She can finally sit up good enough to where I can put just a little bit of water in the tub, not a lot, just in case she were to roll over or anything and let her sit and splash a little bit and play with toys. Um, usually we would give her a bath in this, which is the um, Four Moms like clean water filtration um, infant tub. And it also has a temperature gauge on it that um, shows you how hot the water is and what temperature to keep it at. But she has outgrown it. Her feet almost all the way touch the front. And she's been sitting up so good lately that we thought, eh, why not try? See how you like the big girl tub. What do you think, Bubble Mouth, huh? Spit Bubbles! Spit Bubbles! You're such a big girl, you're growing up so fast. So we have Miss Lila here, all clean after her bath now. Trying to roll away as always. When she's done with her bath, I just towel dry her, put her diaper on, and then I always put lotion on her. I use the um, Aveeno Baby brand, and it's the Calming Comfort Lotion, lavender and vanilla scented. I love the baby lotions that smell like lavender. They just smell so good to me. Are you bouncing? Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. She loves these bouncy things so much that we have one at Graham's and one at home and it just attaches to the top of your doorway like that. And it's really easy to put up and take down whenever you feel like it. Say, you know what time it is? It's time to wake up your sister. So we are gonna wake Aria up stuff back in her room then. Good morning. Short nap today. Good morning, pretty girl. Look at your hair. Why your hair is always so crazy when you wake up? Huh? You want juice? You thirsty? Here you go, baby. No, you gonna be cranky because I woke you up? <laughs> okay, well let's get your diaper changed and get you ready to eat something. Hey, so we have Lila sitting in the Pooh Bear chair right here, trying to get out, but she can't because she's strapped in. <laughs> you want your toy? There you go, baby. And we have Aria over here eating a Gerber meal. That's like pasta rings and mini meatballs with her juice and watching her bubble guppies. Now I'm going to take the chicken out of the fridge because it says to bring it to room temperature before you put it in the oven. Cause I'm gonna put it in in about a half hour or so and we will see how it comes out. Okay, so right now I got Aria to eat um, her supper, and now she's having a Pop-Tart for dessert, watching her bubble guppies. I'm about to give her a bath when she's done. Lila is super cranky over here because she's always cranky from like 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. is like her witching hour. So I tried making her another bottle. She didn't want anything to do with it. I tried changing her diaper. That didn't help. Burping her. That didn't help. So she's just having her lovely complaining witching hour. And it's going to make it very difficult for me to give Aria her bath in a few minutes. Because chances are I'll have to try to simultaneously hold her while I'm giving Aria a bath. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so it's about to be 4 o'clock. Um, like I just said, Lila's witching hour is always 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. Um, Aria just got done having her Pop-Tart. 
Lila is still in the living room yelling to herself. <laughs> and I have the chicken out here getting to room temperature. I have my rice water, um, which is just two cups of water, um, a sprinkle of olive oil, and a sprinkle of salt. And I'm gonna bring that to a boil and then put one cup of rice in it to make white rice as a side for the drumsticks. And I'm going to see if I can get Arya in a bath right now as well. Okay, so current situation, excuse my hair that now looks like a mess after the end of the day, is we're in the bathroom. Arya is getting her bath. Are you having fun, baby? You playing with your Barbies? Taking a bath? <laughs> Girl, a few words at the moment, I suppose. And then we have this one right over here, sitting in her Pooh Bear chair in the bathroom with us because she's having her witching hour, so she can't be put down or left alone until it's time for her to go to bed now, which is difficult, but we manage. Say we manage. Okay, the oven is to temperature, 425. And we are going to pop these beautiful looking drumsticks in the oven. Okay guys, so this is the finished product of the chicken. It's got a nice crispy skin on there and all the juices sealed in and I have the rice cooking over here. Okay guys, um, this is where I think I'm gonna end things for the day. Um, it's after five o'clock, so Eric will be home any minute from work. Uh, the chicken drumsticks are finished and they look delicious. I'll be sure to let you know on my next vlog how they turned out. And I have the white rice still cooking. Um, since it is after five o'clock, both of the girls are in bed. They were both getting really cranky and ready to go to bed, so I just let them go to bed. And it was really hard because after I put them to bed and I started boiling the rice water, the steam from the rice pot was causing the smoke alarm to go off in the hallway, which goes off almost every single time we cook here just because of how small the apartment is and we have to like open all the windows and turn on all the fans and everything like that. So it was just a little bit of a fiasco there. I'm a little bit sweaty and disheveled after that. So I'm looking forward to Eric getting home, um, us eating dinner, and me taking a shower and relaxing. And I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.